<sighs> What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. I'm your host Drew. Now today's episode didn't go according to plan to say the least. As many of you guys know I went down to Corpus for five to six days of kayak fishing, tournament fishing, and to fish out of Nino's boat. And the weather didn't cooperate with me pretty much the entire week. One of those days, I went out fishing with Thresher Fishing. Many of you guys know him. A lot of you guys follow both of our YouTube channels. He is a fishing YouTuber down in the Corpus Christi area. Does very similar stuff to me. It's a good follow if you guys aren't already subscribed. But we we're going to do this collaboration. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this collaboration for a long time. Uh, we did do a collaboration a long time ago, and that one went a lot better. But this collaboration, uh, we were you know texting each other the night before and the wind was calling to be 25 miles per hour which isn't ideal for kayak fishing at all but i decided you know i was going to put thresher in my extra hobie so he could deal with the wind a little bit better and then you know we get out there and it's blowing 35 at least sustained gusts probably more i mean it was probably one of the strongest winds i've ever tried to fish in we got to a little spot that i thought would be pretty wind protected it wasn't and when I got back, you know, we caught some fish. We had a good day of fishing. It wasn't like fire, but when we got back, I realized my entire footage sounded like this. Well, it's blowing like 25. I don't know if you can hear it because I don't know if this mic protector is doing anything. So we tried to find like a little wind protected spot, see if we can't catch at least a couple of fish and then uh, make him eat some bean bristle jelly beans. So yeah, in a 35 mile per hour, and I found out that my mic does not work at all. Um, I guess the story behind that is, is a new mic that I got for the GoPro Hero 5 and I tested it afterwards after I realized the footage was completely horrible with the audio and it really needs 15 miles per hour or less. I got a better mic for my other cameras that I will be using completely in the future. I'm pretty much not going to use that GoPro Hero 5 mic ever again because it really upset me that this collaboration wasn't going to get the quality video that it deserved on my end at least. So I do apologize for that. But I did catch some fish, so here's some very wind noisy things of me catching fish. You know, we didn't light him up that day, but we still had a lot of fun. Now, Thresher did put out a video of this. His audio was a whole lot better than mine, to say the least. But see, he also had his issues with filming and fishing. You would think us YouTubers who do this a lot, like a lot, would actually have our stuff together and be able to put out something quality and film correctly. But uh, obviously we couldn't because Thresher decided to have his camera off for both of his redfish that he caught. The best two fish of the day between both of us, he had his camera off. So he put his video out. And a lot of people in the comment section don't believe that he actually caught those redfish. And you know, we always take our shots back and forth, but I'm going to defend him here. And here's some proof that he caught two redfish. But I want to also throw this out there, that he caught both of those redfish on my lures that I gave him. Hey, that might, that might even be 20. He did catch two redfish. Um, after that second redfish, it actually made a run under my Hobie of his, like, so he was using my Hobie. It made a run under his kayak. It got caught in the Mirage Drive, got caught in a pin. It pulled that pin out and the Mirage Drive broke. Yes, Thresher broke my Mirage Drive. So yeah, everything was going really according to plan this day. So the like not so good part about this was we got as far from the trucks as possible or f from my truck as possible before that Mirage Drive broke. So we had to paddle against the wind the whole time back because he couldn't pedal. So that was unfortunate. But he did end up catching a couple fish on the way back as well. Uh, so did I. We, we, you know, we, we actually caught two out of a slick like back to back. 
So we did have a lot of fun fishing and filming. Uh, we tried to go out to Thresher Rock that night. You know, that rock that he always fishes at and films at, all his videos, all of them. I mean, all of them. But yeah, we tried to go out there and it was blowing just as hard, if not harder, straight in our face. Uh, Thresher hung like two giants. One was a Kaunos Ray, the other one, no idea what it was. He set the hook and it just started ripping drag. So it could have been a giant, but he didn't bring his SD card. So he didn't film any of that. And my whole audio sounds like this as well. We had our issues as YouTubers on this day. But I, what I do want to say is, go check out his video. It's definitely a lot better than this one, I can tell you that. Uh, he actually got some good footage and some good audio. So I'm going to leave the link in the description for his video as well as his channel. I'm going to leave a subscribe link at the end for his channel. And then I'm going to leave a video link to our last collaboration, which went so much better. I mean, so much better. It went ridiculously better. We caught giant fish and we caught a ton of fish. So click that video for our last collaboration. Click here to subscribe to his channel. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you're new around here and I'll see you guys next time.